Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Stranded Daily and John, the robot edition of the DLC. We are just, you know, planting some trees right now, picking up buttermelon squash, and we're going to keep progressing. I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on defenses now. The raids should probably start kicking up in scale. Eventually, we're going to slowly start building out our mass storage area. Um, that's something usually I do actually prefer to do very slowly. I'm going to remove this over here. I'm probably going to put a landing pad. And we're going to grow our trees over here. All right. We still... Oh, we get some, get some sauce. We probably want to make sure that we have investigated everything before it gets to a point where we cannot do that. Uh, animals do start eating, like, pretty much everything. Well, that's cool. We got purple bushes. We got some creatures out here. And I don't like it. Yeah, we got lots of... We got lots of stuff to contend with. Um, this... Yeah, we got... We probably should go out and uh, clear some of these sites here. But so far, we've been lucky. Uh, we're working on getting cotton blossoms over here. And we're going to start putting down flooring. All the good stuff. I definitely need to start working on electricity. And yeah, we're already... We're already at a point where we're going to need a lot more storage than we have. Hmm. That's always hard. It was a hard place to be. It's pretty it's pretty uh, amazing how much storage you actually can you need in this game quite a bit. We'll put a couple wardrobes over here in people's rooms and I'll give a place for all the clothing items at least. And last video we started, we expanded out the fencing a little bit. I'm kind of wondering if maybe we should expand it a little bit more. Now the way that, um, I've talked about this in the prior videos, the way that spawns interact with fencing, if they, so if a, if a enemy spawns like, say like right here, they have a certain radius of immediate threats. So like if they spawn right here, they'll attack the fencing. However, if they spawn like way back here, they will only attack the fencing if they are engaged by something while they're outside the fence. So typically when you have a maze, which I will be doing, you don't want them getting engaged until they're in the maze. And that's how you make an effective de defensive design. So, like you can actually even use like real fortifications, which isn't a bad idea. What I typically do is outline my defenses and fencing and then I will do a real defense right behind it. This just kind of gives me that double double layer. But this is really easy to do in the beginning of the game. Alright, solar eclipse, no impact. Eventually I'm going to have to move my farming. I'll probably move it over here. Again, this is going to be just a giant maze eventually. But they're doing a great job. And there's lots to do. I guess we should probably look at... Uh, we're getting trading going soon. So that'd be a good one. We definitely... One of the things I like to trade the most are... Uh, these antibiotics. However, if you get your crafting going... You can actually cr um, craft things that are worth a pretty good amount of money. We still don't have enough cloth yet to really go into manufacturing. Once these, once those cloth go, we're in good shape. Uh, we need to make sure Hope has enough food. We did get 70, so we have seven days worth of robot food. All right, that's not really a, enough, but sometimes you just have to. Ooh, laser swords. All right, we got the enemy coming. I'm gonna get everybody in laser swords. We got four. You can see that they spawned right here. So, one of the things like when you're playing the game is you want to see where spawn points are, because like say if I built my fencing out here, then that would trigger them to attack the fencing. I believe this is far enough away that it will not trigger them. So we'll go off that. And eventually, what I'll do is block my own sight so I can't see past this point and uh, screw up everything. 
this is kind of a weird, weird little area that I set up in. Man, we have this all set up for scrap until. I don't want times, I want until. We really don't need that much to defeat the, these enemy spawns. They're relatively weak. We are playing on the hard difficulty, but the moon is uh, Concordia, which is like one of the easier moons, I think. All right, here they come. So I want everybody with a gun. I'll get Hope down here. These guns have a pretty long range. So you can see that the fencing is still working. They're a little confused, but for the most part, yeah, the fencing and the design is still working. But yeah, once you hit them though, that's when they will come at you. All right. And I'm having to like tell them to go scavenge everything ASAP because these guys have amazing things on them. Food, robot food, guns sometimes. Yeah, four robot food, some iron. These are all great. Ooh, power cells, electronics. Damn. Yeah, we should go into electricity next. Let's get some power going on this. We got a ton of electric components. Definitely, yeah, definitely screw bricks for now. Let's get electric grids. Shit, screw trading even. I should have been, I should have been uh, doing electric grids from the beginning. All right, we're in good shape. Yeah, we got a lot of really good progress going. We got food at the wazoo. We just need to monitor our robot food. It's really easy to just completely forget about her, to be quite honest. Um, she doesn't eat the same stuff. We got a lot of weapons. I definitely want to sell those. We've got too many. So we got big bushes for sticks, and we got grass. Um, I've just been creating sticks from the logs I'm chopping down, so I haven't really had a need for them yet. Man, we are getting some serious coin. Alright, Omar's looking at bushes. I think I'm going to put the robot to get the electric grids up. Kind of crazy having five people like pretty much from the beginning of the game. It's a it's a much different playthrough. I think knowing everything I know now, I could actually play this scenario on the the very hard, and crazy difficulty. Animal migration. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, it's just an, uh, just some animals have come into my area. I don't know if they're going to get weird, but, uh, they got big guns, and they're probably tasty. They probably have lots of leather. We can hang them on this rack right here. Like jerky. Man, we have too much food. Got a lot of antibiotics, too. I feel like I want to... So one of the parts of this DLC is you get workers. Um, yeah, so we can get freaking workers. Robot workers is what I'm getting at. So let's cut these trees down. Let's get some progress. All right. We're not going to be patient, I guess, for the brick. All right, so let's, um, let's think about this house thing is going to be just an enormous storage facility, so it's got to have one side. Got to have two in the middle. Got to have one side. Alright. So these ten... Yeah, buildings like this tend to be the best. Essentially what you do is you have your storage shelves on one side, and then on the in-between you just have the regular storage. And we're just going to have a longer version of this. Um, and we can always add to it. So we don't have to go too crazy here. Mm. 
So we'll start with something simple, something basic. We got a lot of things to cut down, though. I just want him to start chopping this whole forest down. It's one of the, the pros of starting in such a great area. And they need to plant these trees over here, too. Maybe I guess I will go a little crazy, because we are running at it. We're going through trees pretty quick. One of the biggest problems I have in any game that I play is I just get heavily way too ambitious. Like, I just, like, I gotta build the biggest cathedral building ever. And I do. It's a problem. It has to be done. Okay. I'm actually gonna have the entryways. Okay, so how big is this thing? Twenty-seven. That's great. So, th th on the fourteenth cell, basically, thirteen in. Thirteen, thirteen is twenty-six. One is twenty-seven. So one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Boom. So there should be thirteen tiles on each side. That's good. Looks like you can count right. That's always embarrassing. And yes, I do know that I said I was going to take it slow, and then immediately ignored that. <laughs> like, yeah, let's, let's take it slow. And two seconds later, already forgotten. Gotta go big! Gotta make a big house. Gotta make Papa, Papa proud of me. Okay, shit. I can only go that high. Ah, crap. Alright, so this thing is going to have the weirdest looking roof you've ever seen because I screwed up. Okay. Need to see. Okay, there we go. So this is the problem I have with the roof type. That's like this. But I guess what I could do is just uh, do it like so. Have two roofs like so. Yeah. No one can stop me. I'm gonna do it. I probably should have counted, but it adds to the artistic feel if it looks like shit. So that's what we're going with. It's not poor design, it's art. Beautiful. That one's actually correct, and this one isn't. Fantastic. I love it. Keep, we're keeping it. Yeah, that's going to be a huge freaking storage. Um, but that's what you need. And if you're a hoarder like I am... So this this place over here... I don't know what I'm going to turn this into. Probably like energy storage. This is a great spot for energy. Actually, this whole area back here is great for energy. Because it's kind of shielded from fighting. But um, there we go. Insufficient storage space. Okay. And we've got a door there. And what else are we going to have? Another door. Cool. So now, equal walking distance. It would actually probably be wise to have a door over here, too. You know, it just, just doors everywhere. Oh, damn. Um. Okay, so right here is going to be a walk part where people can walk. So that's where I'm going to place the door. Okay. And I don't think I'm going to have a door on the the end. For now. Maybe, maybe later. I think this is good, though. Oh, shit. Hopefully those harvested. This is... This is... Oh, fuck. We got enemies coming. Oh, shit. They brought friends. They brought friends. Spec Ops and... Okay, so they... They... Uh, 
crap. So these guys got 250, and these guys are 50. They brought real, real enemies. Okay, so maybe I do actually need to, to uh, take these guys a little more serious. I just need to make sure everyone's close. We don't want anyone off roaming about. We got, we got a good thing going here, though. I'm going to start probably... The next thing I'm going to do is clean this up. And get the proper wooden fortifications behind. I don't like how far away Hope's getting right now. Yeah, t these guys look pretty... guys look like they can make my life uncomfortable. Alright. Let's do it. We got our awesome music. Oh, it's gonna kind of stay in the back. Or at least to the side. Um, Hope should actually probably stay on this side, because they'll have easy... She's blocked, so other people will be engaging. Everyone looks pretty cool. We need to get some, some better armor. Alright, cool. We miss, so they're not engaging. Cool. I think it's actually only the turrets. If the turrets engage, then they'll attack the fencing. I think that you... Oh, shit. Look at that. Damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. These... These guys are a little bit better. Vivian needs to get the fuck out. She's getting jacked. Alright, I probably need to use some tactics here. Alright, maybe not. Damn, dude, look at that guy. He's a beast. Stop just sitting there like duck. Oh, our duck. Vanessa, it was all that. There we go. Vanessa with the. Vanessa's a. I probably should actually lead them in and let Vanessa do that in the future, because. Ouch. Okay. We definitely want to. Scavenge. Okay. Scavenge. No. Do it. I want to see what these guys have. Oh, whoa. Laser pistol 2.0. Nice, nice. Very nice. Well, at least their wounds are like, what? Burns? Oh, that's why someone was telling me to get healing bombs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we need to get healing bombs. All right. Uh... I don't think I can make healing bombs yet. I might need to research them. Come on. This is not a time for crying. This is a time for research. That was pretty wicked. That was pretty wicked, though. Those guys just... They dropped... They dropped the law. This is going to be really cool, though. This... This is a an area I can be proud of. We're just going to have so much. We're going to move all the crafting stations in here. We're going to get a jukebox. Cool. And then we'll have another row on the side. Uh, crafting stations will likely go probably here. Mid, mid here. Or even, like, even right here actually in the middle would probably be a good spot in between everything. I like it. The research I'm going to keep in the weird room. But, like, everything else can definitely come over here. Okay. Yeah, we got room for two. That's cool. Yep, that works. 
keep the research there. Everyone's doing great. Sides for the burning. Oh shit. How could you? How dare you? So much good loot right there. Damn. CPU cores, everything. Yeah, we gotta get. Okay. Ooh, I gotta, um. I gotta have our, our buddy do this because he's the smartest guy. Umar is the, is the king around here. Get these electric grids up ASAP. Might actually put the first electric stuff in the middle here because it's the best, most protected area. Alright, and Hope can help with transportation of wood. Yeah, I like this DLC a lot. This is a lot, just a lot more fun. It's nice not just shooting a, like creatures all the time. It's kind of cool, like, fighting off the drones, and I like it. I hope they keep doing more scenarios like this. I wouldn't mind actually fighting a drone war or two. Outside of, like, this scenario, it'd be nice to have drones and the other stuff. Um, drones attacking you. Okay. So, we're definitely going to want power pole here next to all the crafting. Man, I got so much to do right now. Oh, bush fruits. Okay. Defense, gates. Nice. Electric stove. Eating, cooling. Very good. Probably should get an AC system. No, I, I don't want a tutorial. No, shit, I clicked the wrong button. Alright, no, please. No tutorial. For the love of God. I like this base, though. This is the tutorial base. This is pretty cool, actually. I like how they put the everything up next to each other and they stored the things that can't be perished outside. This is actually pretty sweet. Sweet little base, but I don't want to do any of this shit. <laughs> Just there we go. Button says, nope. All right. Okay. Oh, flare flare shielding's a good one. You gotta get flare shielding, but it's, that's as soon as you get. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's a few things we have to get: solar, wind, energy storage, flare shielding, and turrets. Let's get some deep. Let's get some defenses up. It's some energy production, defenses. Nice, spacious bedroom, plus 18. Everybody's happy but Umar. Or Umar. He's Louise, what do I need? I got plenty. Storage, is, he just has to build it. Wow, oh, that's fast. Um, I actually always have, have always preferred wind turbines, but I think for the early the early days, we're gonna go with something a little simple. Maybe like some solar panels up against the house here. This is what we need to figure out is how far away can we get this thing. Right about there. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Wind tur we'll probably get one solar one one wind turbine, one battery. Um we definitely want to get power over here. I'm probably going to put a ba batteries in this building right here. And empty this all out and make sure everything's over here. This is most likely going to be just energy storage and maybe like backup whatever storage. We'll get furnaces. We'll get all types of stuff outside. 
Um, I'll probably put furnace. I like to kind of like put furnaces and stuff near where it's stored. Wow, we're researching things real quick. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so we can make silica inner gel from fuel and silicone. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, I could... Ooh. I like the carbon wind turbine, but these graphene solars would be pretty good. Mm -hmm. Defense spots? Yo, hell yeah, you gotta learn how to make defense spots. Make... I could make a defense bot, man. Alright, now now we're cooking. Okay. So, solar for day, for a lot of energy during the day, and wind turbine at night. Okay. And we also need to put flooring in here. We're going to be doing wood for the workroom for sure. But, um... There's a lot of wood. We've pretty much deforested half the map. <laughs> we've, we've, we've deforested quite a bit, though. And we're going to have to deforest quite some, quite some more. Alright, now once these panels get up, we'll be in good shape. does feel like I'm at a point where I need to do, like, advanced priorities. Okay, so Hope, she's gonna deliver, alright? She's just gonna be moving stuff around. Um, Rika is definitely gonna be construction, primary. Omar, I want doing research. Vivian, I want... Oh, wow, Vivian... Is not set for crafting. Wow. That is a huge oversight. I'll work on the, the work. Okay. So Vivian, for sure, is number one Taylor. Um, also want her doing crafting, assembling. And then Vanessa is for sure going to be planting and harvesting. And Vivian will be secondary planter. Um... I also think everyone else should plant if they have nothing to do. Um, Hope can also scavenge if she has nothing to do. And I think that's a good thing. All right, and healing should be one for everybody. Oh, and handling, this is important. This is like moving stuff into furnaces. So that's also gonna be a Hope job. Okay, I feel pretty good about this. Now we just need to get people doing what they're supposed to be doing. We just have too much not going on. There we go. Trees going. Things are looking up. Energy storage. Okay, cool. So, now we can get a battery. Gosh darn it. Get a battery going. And eventually I'm going to have to move this stuff. I actually kind of like this. I think I'll put my farms in between everything. So let's let's uh let's get the new generation of farming going. So grain field. Grain field. Cotton. Cotton. And then, uh, one of each of the berries, right? For variety. There we go. And now I can remove this. These just aren't really growing, are they? Ah, that's great. But that, that will allow me to... Um, I can leave the cloth. That will allow me... We have enough food. 
I need to start getting the fencing out correctly for this, though. And shit. Whatever, we'll do it out of wood. Can actually grow plants inside here too. So the design that I've come to realize is the best is a mix of a long way in and a maze. So basically you have a maze that ends with a long way in and you have people shooting over top of it. Works really well. It's cold as shit. So what we need to do is get a fire up. That stone that it needs? Yeah, I think so. Um, shit, we can just put a heating stove. Yeah, let's just put a basic heating stove that's super easy. Metal alloy and... We should have metal alloy. Why don't we? Yeah, we have tons of metal alloy. Not have sticks. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna have him build that. That should keep him warm at night. Um, another thing that we need to work on... Yeah, she has life-threatening hypothermia. That's fantastic. Hold shift. Mass place these. Okay, cool. Now Vivian is going to go stand next to the fire and get warmed up because she's about to die. Beautiful. All right. Well, that should keep them um, from freezing to death. You just want to make sure that no one's going below 94. Okay, I can't control him. Alright, cool. And people should be a little bit better off now than they were before. Alright, I think she's going to be alright now. And oh shit, the Thunder Gods. Yeah, that's one thing I forgot. Um, thunder Gods are angry. And they are dicks. So we need to build those. And just monitor your people, you know. Make sure you don't do anything stupid. Hope luckily doesn't get cold, so she's not dumb. She, is, she doesn't just die. And there's a perfectly good fire. And yeah, this is actually a great place for the fireplace where everyone eats too. They can get warm up. Well, luckily one of them is working. Vivian's just out in the freezing cold. Being a man. Or a wool man. Where are you going? You are driving me crazy, lady. She's gonna, like, literally work herself to death. She's nuts. Alright, yeah, stand next to the freaking fire. Get warm. Freaking me out. Alright, we need to get these vents open so that we can get the whole area. There we go. Feeling better already. About our chances of not freezing to death. Okay, well maybe not. People are doing weird things again. They're open. It's freaking cold. Alright. Vivian has lost has lost her privileges. She's just way too hypothermia out. And uh, I don't feel like this is actually doing it. We're gonna need another heating stove. And yeah, we're gonna need it ASAP. Let's keep her... We could probably get her some better clothes. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to start making clothing. We're running... We need that cotton to grow. It's... Oh, nice. And give her those leggings. Toxic ash. Are you shitting me right now? I do not need toxic ash on top of everything. Ugh. <laughs> 
It's freaking freezing. I got toxic ash. Okay. Shit's getting real. Alright, Vivian, you've got to stay. Yeah, we gotta get man, we gotta get clothing. Okay, so we got two freaking heating heating things. Alright, now it's starting to get warm. Very good. There we go. I'm gonna get kind here too. Alright, she's good now. Alright. And so is he. Okay, cool. They they'll both survive. And this place is now above freezing. I like how they're like cold, but they sleep on top of the sheets with their eyes freaking wide open. Jesus Christ. It's scary. Alright, we got a couple of the Thunder God sticks up. Nice. Look at all that food. Alright. We do need to get cotton ASAP. I mean, I know it's growing. But ouch. Nice, Vivian's gonna go get those pants. Alright, let's look at, um, let's look at activities one more time, right? So, everyone should be on cut. We don't have anyone, though, who is a cutter. Maybe Hope should also be, like, number one cutter. And outside of construction, he can probably do both of those two, cutting and delivering. Because we need him to get, get going. Nice. Look at Hope go. Oh shit, but sh she's not harvesting, she's just cutting. I all know none of these actually are harvestable, my bad. They were all highlighted because they have fields. That's okay. I guess that's actually a Hope job, because she can go outside and not get hurt. Robots are cool. Robots are cool. <laughs> Alright, what are we researching now? Automated turrets? Cool. Refrigerators, hell yeah. Nice, Hope's physical too. Holy shit, is it cold outside. 90... As long as they can get warm enough during the night, they can work during the day, that's the thing. Man, look at Vivian go, she is a master cutter. Shit. <laughs> okay. Both of them need to get inside. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll just take, like, little breaks for everybody. To kind of, like, warm up. Okay. They're good. Little warm-up break. I should probably look at their activ- or sorry, not activities, their schedules. Make sure that they're all sleeping. I don't know if Hope sleeps. I typically do relaxation. Oh shit, that's their sleeping time. Yeah, I think what I need to do is cut, cut down their work hours. And uh, do this. There we go. They can do nine to. Whoa! Why is she? Why is she always crying? Well, she's okay. <laughs> You'll be fine, dude. This shit is not growing. I need that cotton so bad too. You know what? I could just start shooting things, though. That always cheers me up. No, it's like I could get leather. Hope's gotta get her combat skills up anyway. There's nothing, nothing cooler than having a robot kill for you. Hope alert. 
Oh, they're trying to pinpoint her. If I evac my... We can evade their attack for a couple of days. Now, nah, we'll kill them. Let's face them. I, don't, I need her... I need her active. I also want the loot off the enemies that attack me. I love loot. Yeah, this is cool. I like this. This feels like a good farm. And then, um... This is cut. Okay, yeah. We just need more cutters. Wrong one. Yeah, everybody's on cut duties. Shit, okay, what am I facing? That's pretty close to the, the fencing. Um, it's not telling me. F-14 assault. Oh, we got flyers. Ooh, that's cool. We got blind drones. Okay. Let's keep everybody inside until the fight. Keep them warm. No, I said keep them warm. <laughs> All right, let's get everybody warmed up. It's going to be a fight. Let's get it. Let's get him in. I guess I could actually have engaged first. I could pick him off, but uh, never been my style. All right, I'm gonna keep hope on the ground. I'm gonna actually keep hope in the back. All right, let's do it. This will be interesting for sure. Those big dr these guys that have 250 HP, those guys scare me, and those guys are tough. Old snap. Holy shit, dude, that is going to destroy my plants. Alright. Alright, the drone. Yeah, those drones aren't much of a deal. Man, that is cool to see. I love it. It's their version of flyers. Holy shit, we didn't hit one of them. Uh oh. I'm gonna have Hope oh, get it. Oh, nice, we stunned it. I guess I should have my st my stunner running interference. Like, I should just have her running on the ground. And rush running up and stunning these guys. There we go. Yeah, that's how I should play her. That's how I'll play her in the future. Very good. Very good. Need to get that healing bomb. button. I think I can actually build a bot from all the bots I'm dismantling. Why can't I treat him? Oh, he's got burns. Yeah, I need to make healing bombs, too. I got a lot to do. I got a lot on my plate. Um, I do think that defense is more important, and robots should come next. Three days? Holy shit. Turrets are five. VR, arcade, long distance trading. Trading would be better probably for a lot of reasons. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. Stay the fuck inside, you crazy lady. Yeah, I should be a little bit more intelligent. Like, go sit inside. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, get the fire get the fire on Hope. What are you doing? She wants everybody to die. She's envious. I should probably just I have to get three of them. We have a cold snap. It's like, yeah. It's gonna get crazy in here. 
two people with severe hypothermia. Shit, he's one of them. Vivian, you need to go stand next to that fire. If they get too close to 90, they, they can die. But if I don't get this new stove up, they can die. So I'm kind of like... I probably should have warmed him up a little bit before I sent him to his death, but... That was stupid. No, no, he's got to get warmed up. He's 89. That was really risky, what I just did. They need to eat. I can't keep them from eating. Oh, cool. I can have Omar do it. Nice. Yeah, he's almost dead. It is so freaking cold out there. I'm legitimately worried for everybody. We gotta watch everyone like a hawk. Once they hit 92, we gotta send them inside. I gotta get them in clothing. I got terrible clothing for them. Alright. That should keep the insides below freezing, hopefully. Damn, dude. It's like freezing indoors. Alright, both of them are freezing. You know, fuck it, we'll just bring everybody inside at the same time. Make it easy on ourselves. Mm. Alright, he's 98. He's going to bed. 98, go. 97. 98, cool. Alright, cool, we're a little bit above freezing inside. At least I got hope. Oh shit. <laughs> Those two crazy people. Oh. I still need a ton of wood. I think. Um, let's table that stuff. They're, they're going a little too crazy. Let's keep... Let's keep everybody close. Okay. That looks good. Let's, let's keep it simple. That's kind of scary. Alright, does Hope have food? Nice. 20 silicone. Shit, so we're running out of robot food. I need to learn how to make... If I could make fuel, that would, then I could kill bugs and make fuel for food. And the silicone is getting murdered by the cold snap. This is actually really rough. I'm not going to lie. We're in a bind. We need this cold snap to end. And I need to grow more of this. I need to grow an excessive amount of this. We just need a ton of that for food. Okay, it's five degrees outside, and these crazy people, 95 and They're both freezing to death. It's actually pretty amazing how warm they can get in a short period of time.
Nice. We got lots of wood. Hope some. I don't know. Hope's just really cool. Like, as far as all the DLC goes, just having a robot that doesn't feel anything is awesome. Pretty, pretty useful. We're gonna cut anything down. Let's cut these sticks down. We got lots of wood to transport, so that's great. We need to get, we need to get these poles running, too. I got too ambitious with this, but this is gonna be amazing when it's done. I like how they're just running around, it looks kinda stupid, but they're actually doing a lot. Nice. Nice, it's getting a little hotter outside. It's only freezing now. <laughs> only freezing instead of zero. Instead of like way below freezing. Wow, it killed everything. Wow. Yeah. That's shit. All that cotton, all that stuff, gone. Alright, hope. I'll have hope go cut trees. Fallen trees too, yeah. Hope's physical's getting pretty high, actually. She can haul it all. Oh, shit. Well, we don't have anything for them to eat. It's all dead. Except my silicone, which I need for my robot to eat. And if she doesn't get that silicone, she dies. So now we're going to have a big old war over that shit. And I think I... I think I've learned everything. That's the problem with the hungry pests, is that they will devour anything in their path. Um, I'm just going to let them do their thing. I don't really have anything against them. This is awful. Like Hope has some food that I didn't know about. We just got one thing of silicone, but where's the, the juice that she's getting? A waiting treatment. Well, there you're not getting shit. <laughs> I don't have it. I'm getting a little concerned about what I'm going to feed Hope. Um, we're not... We're not doing well. These creatures are fucking bothering me. <laughs> and these... Everything's bothering me. Get off my lawn! Yeah, we gotta get rid of these hungry pests. Get Hope's combat up. Hope can do it. 
Hope is Hope is a champion. Yeah. Robot versus Mantis. 20 bucks. Ah shit, she needs some help. I need to give her a lightsaber. Can't see them yet. <laughs> Point blank. There we go. And crap. Let's get let's get all hands on deck for this. Or three hands on deck. Lightsabers! Woo! They're not very good with them yet. But they will be. This is actually not a bad way to to get combat up, to be honest. Not a good way either, but it's not a bad way. <laughs> Alright. Oh, fuck. They're coming. 97, 97. Yeah, we gotta protect our food source. Or, we're, we're toast. I'm just gonna get the whole family out here. We're gonna clean out the ecosystem. Chase him down. Beautiful. Nice. Everyone's pitching in finally. Oh, it's 36 degrees outside. Okay, we're finally okay. And we're getting warm. Okay, cool. Finally. We can go back to normal. Let's get this freaking big pro we need what we need to do is get this big project done um so that everyone can focus on other stuff so we're just gonna cut down all these trees actually probably be easier to cut those trees down those are much closer so beautiful we don't need that many more trees, actually. We're, we're gonna have... Once this... I mean, like, it's annoying, but once this is done, it's gonna be pretty amazing. Go get more wood. And I'm going to turn off their waiting for treatment shit because they're just not working. And I can't fix their burns. I don't have the uh, the plant for it. Possible I do, and I just don't remember. Orange mushrooms, there we go. I think that might be it. Ooh, that's real fucking close to that, though. Observe that one. We probably should clear one of these nests, though. Nice. Yeah, Hope should be able to get all the wood we need right here. 
This should be it. Oh, that was it. That was actually it. Let's just haul this back and be done with it. Oh shit, she's hungry. Oh shit, yeah, she's hungry. Oh no. I don't have any food for her. I can't make fuel. Um, I can't prematurely harvest any of these either. Liquid fuel, silicone, energy crystals. Energy crystals are something I could grow. Um, only Lonesy said that energy crystals... I think he said energy crystals are what he uses. Um, they have like the best whatever. So we need to learn how to grow those ASAP. I'll try that out. That sounds like a good idea. Oh man, we got a lot of animals we could shoot. Oh, there we go. Oh, but none of them are yielding. Oh man, I don't know what she's gonna eat. We're screwed. Unless we get it, we need to get attacked here pretty soon. I guess I can butcher these guys. Yeah, trade would probably have been a better one. Forget forget that. Let's get let's get trade. Then let's get that and robots. We need to get um oh crap. So well, maybe I could have What can I do here? Elevators. Oh wow. You really can do it. Oh, service bots. There we go. That's what I want. More so than defense. Delivery drones. Oh man, there's so many cool things. None of it's going to mean much if she dies here pretty soon. I didn't expect this cold snap. Like, there's nothing I can do about it. I have zero food. <laughs> And this cold snap's not going anywhere. This is it right here. We might be able to get... Ugh, I'm such an idiot. I should have been scavenging this whole time. Such a... I don't know what was wrong with me. This is the only place I can get fuel from randomly. So that's what we should just be doing. Everybody should be out. Who can? Open them are the only ones who can. Alright, once he gets the 94, we'll send him back and we'll send someone else out. I don't need a fucking laser pike. Severe cold snap. Oh, cool. She got it. She got it out. She got. Here, she gasped. <laughs> Can't find words. Oh, get the fuck out of there. All right, I hope he needs to get back and eat that gas. There she goes. Eat that gas, hope. Man, I am so glad I clutched that. That would have been so bad. That's enough food for like seven days, but that's enough to hopefully get through through the storm. So now everybody needs to get chill. Or not get chill, get warm. Chill and warm. Unchill. <laughs> I don't know. I just know that everyone almost just died. This is hard. This this map is freaking hard. And I need to get healing bombs ASAP. And I don't think it's that glitter cap stuff. I can't remember what healing bomb is. I'll find it. Alright. So this guy is pissing me off. 
he's just going to freeze to death at this rate. So we need to get a real heater. It's just getting colder and colder. I've never seen anything like this before. Saying I, I don't have the resources available. And I fucking do have the resources. They're right there. So I don't understand. There we go. Alright, build that stupid thing, you piece of junk. See if he doesn't die before he finishes it. I'm gonna get everybody in here. Yeah, he's probably gonna die in the way. That... Tell him... Okay. Fell over there. Dude, stay inside, please. Okay. We got ourselves an electric heater now. Luckily, that's the only thing that's running, so... Should have it. And we do have a battery hooked up, potentially? No. Battery's not hooked up, but that's fine. Okay, cool. Now we're above... We're like 78, so now everybody... Is groovy. This is actually really good. Okay, she can go back to work. No, she's hiding. He can go back to work. Vanessa can go back to work, not he. Sorry. 90. Stand next to the fire. There we go. There we go. Wow. Oh, and he's comatose. Cool. <laughs> what is this? Okay. There I can go back to work. It's freaking... Alright. Alright, and what's cool is we now... I think we, I saw that trash fall over here. Nope. But this is still a good place for Hope to go get some more food. Oh, there's the burning trash. Cool. Alright. As long as we keep this place above 32 on the inside... It's crazy, though. Like, I have three fireplaces. This, this area is just too big. And I got a heater. These are really good, though. Very cheap. This guy... This guy just hates life. Just always trying to die. 96... 98, fuck, we're about to be attacked. Okay. So I gotta get everybody inside. Ooh, they landed real close. This is about... Oh, cool, we got med, med stuff. That's good. We're gonna need it. I don't know how the freak we're gonna survive this. Ooh, they are piss. We got three dudes. Zero fucking degrees outside, too. Alright, so we gotta play Vanessa correctly. So this. Risk of meltdown. Yeah, well, you're really gonna lose your shit when I throw you up in the freezing. He has no pants. I wonder he's... Fr oh, my God. I The problem is, is I was going to make pants. But I couldn't grow any cotton because the cold snap killed all my plants. It's just like, this is awful. I, I cannot win. I mean, I can win. But, like, I can't win in the sense that everything is working against me. I do gotta get my people some pants, though. Alright. Vanessa is gonna just run up and start popping. Go, Vanessa, go! Vanessa to the rescue! Nice. She stunned a bunch of them. That's right, Vanessa. That's how you fucking do it. No, keep it, keep it there. Right now, everyone has to get the fuck back inside. 
Except for the robot. It's going to go out here and get some food. Scavenge these guys. Okay, cool. Now all of them need to get freaking warm. Luckily, that electric heater probably just saved us. I'm not going to lie. Like, that thing... Like, we were, like, way below freezing. Okay. I'm gonna let them all do their things. Dude, I can't have anything nice. I just... I really want this cold snap to be over. This is fucking awful. Okay. Rick can't go outside because he don't have pants. Got no pants. Got no shoes. His jacket's about to go. This is awful. Like I said, there's nothing I can do. I literally, like, got the cotton as fast as possible. And then everybody... Yeah, I need to get the trade pot up. But I can't because I need the fuel for hope. And I can't grow anything because it's cold. Drive me crazy. All right, if you're good, you can go outside for a little bit. Jeez Louise, what do you know? That's the problem is that each of them are waiting for treatments that don't exist. Oh, that's right, we got med, med packs, but I don't want them to waste. I guess I can't, I guess I need, he only has one burn. This dude, oh man, they both, they actually both really do need to get healed. They're just both really screwed up. Cool, it's 107 degrees here. 34 out there, that's perfect. And then she's got burns? Okay, ship parts will fix that. Nice. Yeah, Vanessa has 0% chance to uh, fail healing, so she's perfect. Nice. Yeah, now we'll get him up now, because he only had the one burn. Omar. Nice. And then, I know I'm wasting all these kits, but I gotta get the, the healing bomb. At least they're not freezing the dead now. Yeah, I need to get healing bomb real fast. Probably the biggest issue I have right now. Yeah, I know she's cold. I'm going to turn off his awaiting treatment because he needs to go back to work. He's fine. Once he hits 93, I'll send him back inside, but... Gonna take him a while to do all that.
Alright, we're running out of fuel for her to drink. 33. Yeah, she's got to go back to the garbage. And shit. Alright, cool. At least he's in the right place. And it's freaking like a sauna in here, so... Oh, I can't control him. He's on a food binge. Well, at least he's walking into the one place that has heat. Damn it. It's not what I needed. I need fuel. Or food. This cold snap will... Oh, thank Jesus. Let's go get that silicone. That will give her four days of food right there. We're definitely gonna need, like... Definitely gonna need just fields of this shit. There we go, that's four days worth of food right there. Each one of these is basically a day of food. All right, I'm gonna have him get warmed up first. I guess what I could be doing is uh, making... Um, well, none of this is harvestable. Yeah, I could be using skin bark. I guess I could start go killing animals, actually. Yeah, let's go kill some animals. That'll give us the leather we need. Alright, we need to kill the right animals, these guys. Yeah, we get the leather. And we can make him some pants. Should have, should have thought of that. Trousers. Do it till we have two, and then Vivian can make trousers. No active task. My ass. Make me trousers. Oh, she can help. Cool. Let's have her build. Looks like a lot of them can help. Have all of them get in on this action. Just five, okay. We need to find something with hide on it. There we go. 20 hide. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, we'll get that hide going, and then we got ourselves trousers. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna have them construct the shelves in there. Watch for those freaking straw hats. He's like, you woke me up for that? I'm like, yeah, I did. And I won't do it again. Till the next time. Okay, we got fuel, we got silicone. Alright, we've got enough food for her for like a few... Five days. A lot can get done in five days. Right, another day worth of food. Another... Silicone farm right there. We just need to have a bunch of it going. I'm for sure going to teach Hope how to farm next for her next upgrade. Farming is just 
the one of the best. All right, he's fine. He'll walk it off. Man, I can't wait to make those trousers. Should be able to make them. They're still drying. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I keep forgetting you can kill animals and take hides off of them. Yeah, Vivian's doing really well at farming, too. Even though that's, like, the last thing I want her to do. Fuck. Well. Fuck and good. Because it means that loot is here. There's three bastards. Need to get, uh, the researching started on turrets here. Yeah, there we go. We're getting close. Just one of them would make a huge difference. Oh god, Vanessa, please no. It's the worst place for her to be crying. I need her too. Need her gun. It actually makes me wonder if. Give Hope a pulse rifle. Pulse two people with pulse rifles might actually be better. Okay. This isn't gonna go the way that I wanted it to. Let's do this. Let's do this. We gotta fight on a different... Where the fuck are they going? Oh, fuck. Okay, cool. Those guys are going. Ah, uh, they spawn too close. I gotta intercept that this guy right here. You better run. I gotta take out the threat. Damn, one of them has a big a big gun. Alright, we need to we need to lay back and ambush these guys. God damn it, he hit one person who's like fucked up beyond repair. Okay, so she's really screwed up, and that's not good. Because she's also the healer. Okay. Why are you feeding her? Don't feed her, heal her.
Yeah, right. That was pretty brutal, actually. Um, Vanessa needs to be healed a lot faster. I need to put medical supplies in this area. It's New Year's, everybody. No, it's not time for New Year's. Freaking, dude. Heal her ASAP. Yeah, she's not gonna make it. What the fuck is he doing? Dude, that was so clutch. That was so clutch. She literally almost died. Alright, she's gonna make it. Get out there and scavenge those dudes. The fuck happened? It was fine. We need to definitely get... Okay, we got some food. We definitely need to get the turrets up next. We need at least one. Okay. Alright, cool. Vivian's alright. But Vivian's gonna need to heal Hope. Extreme cold snap? What the fuck is going on? It hasn't been hot in like... Uh, we're on day 48 of year one. It's like... This is crazy. The food's not... The good thing is, is that every w room is basically a freezer, so I have all the food I collected from my last harvest. Raga is completely fucking nude now. Alright, Vivian... Oh, yes, yeah, Vivian's making trousers. Well, she was making trousers until she freaked out. Because, why not? Now's a great time for freaking out. Why is he... Having hypothermia. This whole area is a freaking hot box of heat. Alright, we're gonna kill animals. We're gonna do some times. Get rid of the straw hat. Okay, he needs to go outside. Might need to put a room out here. Might just move a sh one of these in here. And so he can sleep there. Because he has no clothes, so he's going to die. He doesn't sleep in a place with more heat. There we go. Holy shit. Everybody is messed up. I mean, they're all burned, too. I don't have any healing. That's such a clusterfuck. It, if... It just... It just... This makes no fucking sense. It's been a whole year of cold. Cold snap. Cold snap. Hey, it's fucking cold. Hey, guess what? It's cold. It's like, yep. I, I need to, um... I just need to get out there and start killing. I need to get... What I need to do is get out there and start killing. And I need to get them all... A bunch of good stuff. Is that a dog? Alright, I'm not gonna shoot the dog. I know I can domesticate the dogs. Alright. Game's a lot different than I remember it. Oh fuck, I gave her the wrong gun for this. How in the f, f is he so cold? He's standing right next to the only freaking heater. 
Oh shit, I don't want to knock him out. I just wanted to refuel that thing. There we go. Alright, this isn't rocket science. I just I just need to get the right weapons. Need to get a bunch of leather. Need to make some pants. We'll be fine. It's just poor, poor prep for the- I didn't realize it was going to be so freaking cold. I was actually expecting a hot environment, which is the funny thing. as much as we can. Okay, cool. Got more more pants coming. Did she actually make any trousers? What's going on? I told her to make trousers. I got got the cotton. Yeah, it says like oh I need 30. Cool. Well we had 50, I thought. Alright, let's get a large drying rack. Hope is just gonna go on a killing spree, basically, once she eats. Yeah, they're all running out of clothing. This is getting pretty dire. I feel like I make this mistake every time I play this game, where I just severely underestimate how important clothing is, and it just, half the game is just me trying to get pants, basically. Yeah, he's going crazy. Of course, he's attacking the one thing that can save him. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, you're all tuckered out from nearly killing yourself. Freaking re really bad decisions. What the hell is going on with Omar? Why aren't you researching, Jack Ace? That's because he has a waiting for treatment thing. Alright, yeah, we need to get turrets up so we don't all right so that the problem is is they spawned really close and i guarantee you i could probably find the sweet spot and i think it's probably right here mm. holy cow it's 60 degrees out toxic ash i'll take it you know what toxic ash is way better than cold snaps we got food oh my god it's finally over all right you're you're good, man. Turn off waiting treatment. Yeah, you guys get to freaking work, man. Keep this, like, clean, too. I can't believe I survived a year of just bitter, like, 
There's at least like a three fourths of that year is bitter cold. I'm still gonna go out and kill all these animals though. I need pants. I need pants. Give me pants. Yelling at some creature. It's like living its life. I need pants. <laughs> Robot. Just. Just. <laughs> I'm an awful. I'm an awful person. I'm an awful person. You need some pants. That should be, that's enough, right there is enough le leather if it converts to 30. I don't know if it converts that way. Do store here first. Yeah. Oh man, it's so nice not to be dying. It's not perfect, but uh, we're keeping the heat inside. The heat outside is not too bad. We're able to plant... What is Vanessa doing? Oh, we gotta turn off her thing too. Yeah, we need to get. Um... Oh, that's cool. We need to get these guys over here harvested and see if we can make anything from it. And then I think I need to go scan some glitter caps. I actually don't know if that's something Hope can do. Can Hope observe? Yeah, she can. Alright, she's gonna go do that. Yeah, I know you're in pain, Vivian, but uh, I need you to plant. I need a bountiful harvest. Now all our food's gonna rot, so it's not cold anymore. Omar is going to get us some guns. We're going to move these back. And I'm going to um, do some basic flooring. I need, I need the I essentially need the best floor that I can get. Integrity wise, 150. And something that I can repair quite easily. Okay. And you know what? Wood's probably the way to go with this, too. Um, X and Z to change floor height. Okay. We're probably just going to have one gun for a bit. I'm going to put the one gun right here. And we got that cool, those cool ladders now. So, no, not enough, not enough space for a ladder. Okay, that means we should be able to get up on top of it. That does mean that we're going to need power. Discovery of the glitter caps. Okay. Let's grow some. I think glitter can't remember what or is it I can't remember which one you use to make healing balm. I gotta remember that. We definitely should try to keep like a little variety of crops. It's definitely useful. There we go. It's yeah, it is glitter caps. Okay, I thought so. I, I'm glad I was right. It's been a while since I played. It makes sense. So we need to get a bunch of glitter caps going. Probably more so than we have. And that's fine. It's all good. Um, let's let's do it here. Glitter caps right there. All right. And, the robot should have food for quite some time. Nice. It's really, it's always nice to see everyone working again. That that frost era was just gnarly, man. What was that all about, right?
<laughs> now you got him. Cool. Cooly. Coolio. Alright, we got the uh, awesome... The awesomeness going on. Well, it looks like we did it. Now we just gotta put the floor in. And one day he will get pants. And he will be a real boy. Trousers are in queue. The trousers are in queue. Yeah, we're gonna need a shitload more co cloth. Blossom. Oh shit, it's all gone. Okay. We need a bunch. Like, we honestly just need a shitload of this going. I need, like, a ton of this. I'm gonna delete this once it's all planted, but... And we'll harvest it later. Actually going to get rid of this. The, all of this is just one long connected piece. Get rid of all of it. And then we can use the sticks to build up the other one. All right, Hope, what are you doing? Ghost. Do I not have her set up right? All right, she can cut. Why isn't she? Okay, yeah, that's weird. Definitely need more wood, so. All right. We're making it. We're getting back up. We're finally, there's finally a level of prosperity. King. Hmm. Very odd. Um, I have her on deliver as one. She wasn't doing anything. I need robots. <laughs> I need I need helper bots. But I think I might have to feed them. Um, that's the problem. But look at that. He's got pants. He's got trousers. More specifically. And our mega crafting room is coming along nice. Yeah, it's crazy how much was wiped out by all of this. We just have so much planting to do. Oh, nice. Got some beef berries right there. Alright. Now this is the moment of truth. We want the laser gun? Or do we want the machine? I think I want the laser, because it's got the best range. Yeah, that's gonna hit well. Let's get that bad baby up right now. I'm going to feel so much better when I have a laser gun. I do need a power switch for it, though. Usually I, I put a power switch. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Put the power switch right there. What do you mean I'm missing the resource? Oh, cut me some trees. Let's cut some bushes. Cut some trees. We just need a lot of resources now. Hundred and twenty eight indoors. Okay, so this can be turned off and these can be turned off. Sucks. Oh, that sucks too. I did not get the gun up. And we got 
Oh god, we got eight of them? Oh, they're all fit. Okay, those are the small guys. Okay. Okay, Raka, you piece of shit. Let's just put the laser gun down for now. They're not unavailable. You're just a dick. Build me a laser gun. Build me a laser gun, you jackass. <laughs> Running out of time. I should have just done that. Well, I didn't think I was going to get attacked. Had I known, I would have definitely just done it. I think we're gonna get it done in time, and that's really cool. I gotta tell you. Oh right, disconnected. Oh good God, why do you hate me? Oh, pull, put the pull up, please, please put the pull up. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. Alright. The mission of the pole commences. If he can get back in time to put that pole up. I guess I could have just moved um, a pole. Mm, no, they're all... Well, actually, if I moved... Mm, yeah, it's, it's a little iffy. Okay, you got enough wood. You don't have to get it all, you jerk. Alright, he's not gonna... He's not gonna be back in time. But at least they're getting a little bit better. And these guys only have swords, so... The the traps are doing their thing. That guy doesn't has definitely a gun. Take Vanessa in with the stunner. There we go. Perfect. Probably gonna get the pull up, like, right at the end of the battle. Watch that. He's gonna... He's just gonna stroll in. Like, I'm here, guys. I got your pole. Jerk. Well, at least we got some loot. And at least we, I mean, at least we are making progress. Like, getting this, this gun up, huge. Nice. Electronics, ooh, we got another gun. Vivian's crying for some reason. Someone someone stole her chocolate milk or something. Yeah, we definitely definitely need more resources than the base. What are they crying about? They just won an awesome battle. And we're gonna put this on circuit nine. And we're gonna put you on circuit nine. And then we're gonna turn it off. And then when the battle starts, we can just turn that switch on and off. Uh, once I get it, I can get a sensor too. Those are pretty cool. Hey, did I do it? Oh, it hasn't been changed to nine. It's like, what the shit? Alright, gotta change the circuit to 9. There we go. Now we have it hooked up. Got ourselves a laser. Alright. We're gonna put one there. Put one there. They're gonna look a little different, because I said so. And we're gonna move the laser up there. It's gonna be glorious. The laser. There we go. Now I'm feeling pretty. Get a couple of those bad boys. We got ourselves a fun time. Hell yeah, we have the resources too. They're cheap. 
Actually, the best thing to do when you're doing this is to copy because it will carry over the connector already set. And that way I don't have to come back with it draining in or it will just be set to nine and be off. And then I can just toggle that switch anytime until I get a, a sensor. Nice. All right. Let's get some work done. Yeah, we're ready for the next attack with these laser guns. They're the lasers are great because they do con like continuous damage to targets. When you have targets with large HP, lasers are the where it's at. Lasers are also good for flying things too. They just have a really good range. Meteor rain. I don't know what's going to happen. I hope no one gets hit by a meteor though. That's iron though for sure. I I could uh Yeah, iron is good. Iron is very good. Need to observe the iron. Nice. Once rock is done, that's awesome. Okay, it's done. There's, It's all here. So, I'm going to just leave the storage that's over here, where it is. Um, actually, that, that doesn't make any sense. Because it's going to gonna distract. Um, I do, though, however... Want to make sure everything is set. Store here first. Uh, yeah, let's put like weapons in a centralized place. Okay, I feel good about that. Empty and destroy. Empty and destroy. This is gonna be like a batter a place with batteries and research desks, and then everything else can just be moved. And easily done out here. Yeah, let it out. I feel you. Screw that thing, right? Well, we got pants, so we're we're pretty pretty like civilized now, and uh, like we're getting we're getting close. Um, she kind of needs a lot of hand holding, honestly. It's just not really not doing. It. Everybody kind of is pissing me off. They're all just kind of like doing their own thing. We gotta haul this inside. So that's enough. This is enough food for her for week, like several weeks. So that's great. We gotta get these things planted. All right, cool. Now we can finish off the defenses. Eventually, I'll do a maze. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to like make the fencing a little more just square just to make sure that there's no weak points where the enemy can perceive it as a threat. Not sure what Hope's doing. Oh, she's moving stuff. Cool. Yeah, we'll get everything out of here. We'll get everything, like, centralized focus. This is great storage for all this stuff. Eventually, I'll put some freezers and, and stuff in here, and it'll be great. Next, we're going to get a heat wave, probably. <clears throat> After I made all those sweaters. Ah, Vanessa passed out. That's great. Yeah, it's, 
You really do need multiple farmers. I actually prefer to have everybody farm, like I was saying earlier. Definitely going to be upgrading Hope to a farmer next. I'm actually kind of confused what Omar's been, like, working on. Build, build shit, Omar. Probably need to cool it on building out buildings and stuff. I built the freaking Ark, practically. That's cool. I always like that you can do this to see everything. Get yourself a nice little screenshot that way. But yeah, it's not bad. We're getting uh we're getting pretty good. Need to get some I just need to have her go out and cut everybody just needs to go out and cut shit down. Just Tired of, tired of all this stuff not being done. Go out and plant. Go out and plant. Work yourself to death. Solar flares, and that's why I got the solar flare shielding ASAP. If you don't, then you're just like, it won't work. Like, boom. Everything's out. So. We're doing great. Got lots of electricity. Our defenses. Now, at least I learned that one lesson. Yeah, I learned that the energy lesson, but not the pants lesson. Hardest lesson to learn. A man without pants. Not a man. Alright, I actually think that this is enough. Alright, cool. We have an absurd amount. Cloth being made. And that this is a cool feature here, the store here first feature. So we can pretty much put all of our our stuff into just a few spots. So double wardrobes are pretty dope. I'm gonna kinda turn this person's room into the the battle room. And we're yeah, this is great. Hope has an enormous amount of food now. come haul it the next thing I'm researching is what what this guy does for a living uh, no um service bots he needs to finish that fast because if we could get one service bot that would be amazing you know what and here's a little trick and I'm pretty sure you can put down two benches I always forget this I'm not sure. I think you can, and I think that it does increase the rate at which they do stuff. Um, let me remember. Okay. Build me another research. This is crazy. This is awesome. Like, we have so much food now for her. Like... 20 day or 24 days right there. Oh shit, I didn't realize I had sulfur and all that right there. And stone. Oh, I got a lot of good resources over here I didn't know about. Nice. I'll have to come over there for some rock. I gotta get these glitter caps up, too. I guess I could come over here. 
Oh, the glitter caps are all eaten. Huh. Yeah, I'll have to wait till mine are grown. What's cool is I built out this area like in chunks, so it's not all yielding at the same time. So it's like probably too much, but if I get enough robots, I feel like I'm going to need it for feeding all of them. Wow. This is cool. All right, so Omar's researching. Can hope research. Okay, cool, yeah, so they can both research at the same time, so this might speed things up. I want to get the service robots built next. If I could get a couple service robots, oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is kind of cool. I feel like the cold snap phase was like preparing me for, for the prosperity phase. I'm just gonna have a bunch of fucking laser guns, man. I'm gonna burn everything that comes at me. Yeah, I don't care if anyone's, if you're dumb or whatever, like, just get in here and start reading. Start pointing at numbers and figures and somehow we'll figure it out. Oh shit, he's crying. What a bitch. Okay. You, plant lady. Point. Oh, no, that's not good. He can repair it. Cool. Yeah, we need that battery full. If we get attacked, we need to be able to power our guns. He's having to walk quite a distance to get through stuff to repair it. It's kind of annoying. Maybe I should put the batteries in here. Oh, nice. Service bot. Sorry. Zoned out there, didn't I? Um, oil extract's a good one. I think that leads to some good stuff. Um, hmm. Electronics making. Definitely need refrigerations next. Okay. Cool science. Harvest bot or service bot. Consumes 10 power. Okay. A bipedal robot designed to... Efficiently perform everyday cooking, handling, repairing, dismantling, and delivering resources. Harvest bot. Harvest resources, plant crops. Capable of mining, chopping, scavenging, delivering resources. These are both really cool. And they don't take energy. I mean, they don't take food. They just take... Okay. Um, okay, so this, this will be our robot room. Awesome. Robot room. And I think I can... Can I do it? I don't know if he needs to come here to power up, so I'm gonna put a power pole. Do I have... Do I have the technology? Do I have it? Harvest bot. <laughs> this is gonna be great, because that means I can have Vivian just focus on crafting clothing and other stuff, and then I could sell it, potentially. Get the trader up. Holy shit, harvest bot. Okay. Uh, I think we're gonna probably wanna get another solar panel up for power. Hell yeah, look at this. 10 power, harvest bot. Where's my harvest bot? Oh my god, harvest bot. He's a harvesting. Ooh, we can garrison. Nice, we can instruct him. Okay, so we can instruct. Dude, this is cool. I didn't realize we don't need people for farming. 
and they don't get tired, they don't get sick, and I can rename them? Chad. This is Chad. No, no, no. Chester. There we go. Chester the Harvest Bat. Cool. And then he's getting Okay, so I didn't I didn't need I didn't need all this for hope. I'm still going to get a bunch of it though. Okay. Now here's here's what I want to know. Can they plant? Yes. Okay. All right, we just need a bunch of metal alloys. Okay. Well, we can observe this, and then we can get iron, and then we can make alloys from that. Severe heat wave. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Whatever. That's gonna burn all my plants. Awesome. Yeah, and this guy's just gonna be out there harvesting all day long. Dang. Once you get one of these guys, like, honestly, you could, I mean, if I were to get into trade and stuff and have just a bunch of harvest spots, just have fields of things I'm growing for sale. I mean, I only, I really think I only need one harvest spot with the uh, amount of people I have. I think I need the next spot now for repairing and, and uh, handling. Handling is good because that, that means they can move stuff around. And that means I can send my guys on expeditions to get iron resources and then have handling bots smelt it all in the alloys to build more handling bots. Researched oil. Cool. All right, and then we can get an oil press. And these are good to have because uh, there's other things you can do with oil presses. This is absurdly cool. Just to have a robot helper. I think two of those would be pretty sufficient. Um, right now we just need more metal. Okay. Okay, cool. Now we can mine this. And actually one of the better ways to do this is to kind of try to find ore iron ore. Like, get as much as possible. There's 23. Okay. And there's a bunch over there, too. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's mine all this ore. Now the trick is going to be keeping everyone cold. Um, which means that we actually need to immediately switch from this to heat pumps. And then we can make an air conditioner. I'm going to have everyone in the world working on this. That's so... Oh, he even freaking transports, dude. You've got to be kidding me. These things are amazing. Alright, well, the next episode is going to be all about mass producing these bots. Because for 10 energy, man, that is nothing. This windmill is supplying 4 out of 40. Which means that like each one of these realistically just needs per two windmills like worst case scenario i'm bleeding a little bit of electricity that can easily be supplied at night by these so we're just gonna build out probably two uh one more of each robot i think two robots would be sufficient and then like yeah we're gonna be in a mass production phase this is cool What's great is he's actually better than a person. Like, he doesn't have feelings. He doesn't cry like he like all these people do. Like, he just works. <laughs> he just he just goes. Oh man, we're all gonna get replaced by robots. 
<laughs> Shit. All right. Well, thank you for watching. This was a really long episode. I doubt many people finished all the way through, but there it is.